Right, we've been tapped to make our debut in the NHL as a goaltender, and we're talking with the reporters. You went from the draft floor to being drafted, going through the preseason, and now it's time for your NHL debut. What do you expect from this game? I'm really excited about it and expecting it to be a challenging but fun game. Right now, I'm really focused, not looking to talk too much. I need to keep the concentration. Yep, that's the response. That's understandable. One more question. How would you describe yourself as a player? I'm a great player, of course. You guys don't know me already. <laughs> I'll describe myself as the future Calder winner. Okay, I wouldn't uh, do that. I would just say the star answer. There's not another answer for this? Okay, star answer. Sure enough. Man, the teammate like ability is just tanking. Yes, we all do. Do you think you are prepared to get a win tonight? I will do my stuff. The win can come or not. I'll deliver anyway. Uh, of course I'll get a win. Talk to you later. Yeah, let's just promise it. Well, now we have to try to win the next game. That's just great. The teammate-like ability went down. Well, talking it over with coach before the big start. So I need you to prove that you'll be able to stand up to the pressure out there. Think you can handle this? I worked hard to get here and put a lot of effort in, coach. I won't let the team down. On it, coach. You don't become a goalie if you can't handle pressure. That's actually when I play my best. We need to help the teammate like ability out. So let's just say that. Great. That's what I wanted to hear from you. We're talking with a fan. Is this on social? I can't wait to see you in action, my favorite player, no doubt. Go Golden Knights. So, storyline, yeah, this is new. Uh, future rewards, oh, okay. Uh, all good fans want their favorite players to stay on the team long term. How loyal to the team are you? So, the answer options are big thanks. Really excited to play on the Golden Knights. Would love to stay for a while. There's a new star in town. We'll just say the first one. It's not too, too uh, uh, ego driven. <laughs> You're awesome. Thank you. I didn't even see the name of the fan. I didn't even read it because I don't care that much. All right. So we're finally done talking to people. We can get this show on the road. We're going to make our first start. No big deal. In Colorado. The Mile High City against Nathan McKinnon and this beastly avalanche team. And also, side note, what is up with the pads? Why do the pillows look like that? That is not right. Um, we need to check on that before we play this game because those are not my pads. Alright, here we go from Denver, Colorado. The first start of the career. All the friends, all the family are in town to see this game. Also, those are not my pads. Something has glitched out. I guess we borrowed someone's pads. Marc-Andre Fleury had a spare set and he just handed them to us for the road trip because something happened to mine. But we're starting this game nonetheless. Oh boy. And here we go. The first start is underway. We just got to make that first save. But we haven't seen a shot yet. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That rolls in on me. Off of Petrangelo. I don't think that's going to technically count. Here it is. Burakovsky. This crazy first line for the Avalanche. And the first shot of this game goes wide. We're going to cover up. Try to just melt it down. Face off one. Makar. And we're going to, again, cover up. We probably should have covered up for another face-off. But I'm just trying to move it. But it's Burakovsky. This first line going to work for Colorado. Rontanen. And we... Oh! And we made the first save. But the rebound went right to Burakovsky. And he potted it home. Well, I guess we got to get that out of our system. So there it is. The first goal against in our career. And I mean... Uh, 
I gotta have some defensive help in front too, you know. That would be at least helpful. It's the pads. I blame it. We don't have the right pads on. I mean, you can't at least reach out and make a save, extend your arm. <sighs> hey, we shut this down the rest of the way. I don't really care. We just gotta play simple and basic. And we're facing a very good avalanche offense in this game, so expect a few to beat me. Just, that was stoppable. Saved. That's stoppable. And we do save it and cover and play it. And we're gonna get it out. He passes for Kadri. Hinnestroza, and we save it into the corner. But a delayed penalty against Vegas. It's gonna be a slash to... Uh, I'm not sure who wears seven. Who wears seven on this team? Petrangelo. So Alex Petrangelo. Ooh, yep, that is a slash. He's going to take the first penalty of the, uh, of the game. Not the season because we haven't started the first about five or six to start the season. It's been all Marc-Andre Fleury, so I'm giving him a little bit of relief tonight. This is a really dangerous power play. Rondon, he shoots wide. Oh boy. Oh, are you kidding? And they score right away. Miko Rontanen. And it is two to nothing, Avalanche. Just why did you start me against this team? And I can't get any defensive help in front either. Oh. He just turns and just picks that corner like it was nothing. So then Carlson working it to the point to Theodore. Petrangelo was shot blocked. He's now returned from the box. Gets it to Carlson in the corner to Marcia so a big save. Now Petrangelo, he shoots and through a screen it's deflected away. McKennan through center with speed. Lots of speed. Okay. You can pull me now. I'm done. <laughs> it's... Wow. This is... I've been taking a task. And that's just a mental mistake. That, he didn't even get any of that. And it's still... <sighs> it's the pads. It's gotta be the pads. We just don't have our right pads on. And it's bringing us all kinds of bad voodoo. Oh boy. I'm just gonna keep my movement to an absolute minimum. I love that it says stop the bleeding. Well, yeah, you can't put enough bandages on this one. A chance to play the puck. And we, I think we, okay, we got bailed out there. I was about to say we probably goofed that one up too. Shushkin dumps it back in. The Avalanche can just, they're content to just dump it in. They've got control of this game. They don't have to go for offense anymore. For Patch Reddy, what are we doing with this shot selection? And we're just getting put, but that's a delayed penalty. It's got to be interference right there. It's going to be an interference penalty on the avalanche. He just kept pushing him, and the puck was not even close. Yeah, Kale McCarr, go sit in the box. You've been naughty. You have been naughty. Yeah, he just kept pushing Stevenson. What was that? I'm glad they made a call. So we're going to get a power play and an opportunity, maybe, to get a goal and kind of get us back in the game and somewhat stop the bleeding. And it's dumped in. I'm going to come around the side. Can I stop it? No, not in time. We just don't have any speed at all to, to move or play the puck or anything. Cleared back down. I'm just going to come back here and play it. Let's see what we can find. See what we can find. Boom. Breakout pass. Perfect to Carlson. Maybe I should just be a freaking defenseman. Carlson. Back from Marsh. So to Stone. The passing's good. The execution isn't quite there. Hamilton. Back for... Stone, just this passing is great. Back for him, back for Stone. Turnover, Tyson Jost. And I'm just going to play it behind the net and see if I can skate it out. Maybe we can find someone down ice. Boom. Oh, perfect, perfect sauce to Stone. Perfect pass. Now Stone, get me that assist at least. The first point in the NHL would be pretty sweet as goaltender here in this game. Oh, it's Stone. He's robbed again. Shooting. Turned aside. All right, a little bit of a confidence boost of a save there. And we'll get a chance to see that save. I think it was JT Comfort that shot the puck. Yes, and turned aside. Not very flashy, not much to it. But again, we need to just start making some saves to build a game and the confidence. Toronto, and they will escape harm. 
keep my movements to an absolute minimum. We just don't have it. We just cannot play at this level. I mean, I'm not even moving. I'm... I tried to just stand still and just simplify it. And still it beats me. It's low. To the... You can't drop fast enough to cover that five hole. My goodness, that thing was gaping. That's me pulled. That has to be me done for the night. That's it. And McKinnon tests me from way out there because he's just taunting me at this, at this point. At least I made the save. There's probably a, a chirp in there somewhere about it. At least you saved one. But yeah, that was a less than ideal first period of action. Couldn't have gone worse. I don't think that could have gone worse if you tried. Well... Four goals on nine shots in the first period, and we still haven't been pulled. But the next one that beats me is my night done. And it'll probably be random. Probably scoring a hat trick, but we make an attacking save. I stop. We just haven't converted anything yet. McKinnon, and he goes 5 hole. This is just overpowered. Just pull me already. Get it over with. I mean, he just walks right in. No help defensively. I mean, you can't help a rookie. You cannot do this to a rookie goaltender in his first game. I mean, you just can't. What are you doing? Whoever's the, what is Petrangelo doing? He just lets McKinnon just burn him. He goes five hole. Yep, and I've been pulled. That's it. NHL debut, but I think there's a lot of goaltenders and a lot of players for that matter that seem a little overwhelmed and a little jittery the first time they compete in an NHL contest. And so... Look, it's one game. It wasn't the debut and the start that he would have hoped for. Doesn't get the win. You know, probably would like a goal back. But I would still say this. You know, he's young, he's talented, and it's only one game. All right, we're going to hear from both coaches, and we'll have a lot more as we continue our coverage here. We played the freaking avalanche. I had to face that offensive attack the whole game. There was no chance. I stood no chance. Whatever, man. I really don't care. And now a conversation with my agent. Probably about some charity event or something. I don't know. Sure, you can add a phrase. All right, so now we've been tabbed to make our first start at home against Anaheim. So let's just hope we have a better result. And we've got our pads back as well. I figured out I have to go into the menu to save the changes, even though I don't make any changes. All right, in the fortress for the first time in the regular season, we've got our pads back after we borrowed flurries. And at that terrible first start against Colorado, you see where the numbers are, and they are horrendous. But it can only go up from here. We oppose John Gibson in the Anaheim net. We've got to have a really good second game here. And I need some help defensively. It would really pay off if I could just get some defensive help. And a save off Zegris, so a good start. And a save off Lindholm. That was deflected off the glove. Oh, Manson wide. Oh, God. These guys are just ripping shots. <laughs> the Anaheim attack is fast and furious. We're going to draw a penalty. Interference. And the guilty man is Manson, I think. It is Manson. It's Josh Manson. Interference on Marcia So in front in the slot. So we're going to get an early, very early power play opportunity. They don't care. Shorthanded, even strength. And let's not do what we did against McKinnon and at least save that. 
And it's going to be flipped down. We can't stop it, but that's fine. Petrangelo has it. And it's cleared again. We should be able to get to this. No, again, we need to work on that speed. 11 seconds of power play time remaining. Big offensive zone draw tied up and backdoor and a score. Marcia so on the power play puts Vegas on top early in the game. Nice strike there. We tied it up off the draw and then fed Marcia so wide open, untouched on the back door. There it is. And then it is it Smith? It is Smith who gets to it first. And he's just. It's like Marcia so just slid down there uncontested. No one picked him up. It's like he was invisible on his way to the back door on the net. Nothing Gibson could really even do about that. And there's the touch and the penalty. Four minutes. Interference is the call. Four minutes for Max Pacioretty. I'm assuming that is for two interference penalties. There's the first infraction and the second infraction I think came just after that behind the net so good job Max Pacioretty you moron we just got the lead and now we have to kill two penalties essentially so here we go Anaheim on the power play Comtois shooting a rebound but I got help defensively I think Silverberg oh off the post and in Raquel and just the save percentage is not going to last this season. That's a tough one because it is a pass across in the middle, and I don't get any defensive help on that one. And it does go posting in. So he did it. He put it right in the spot. Oh, You know, if you're behind that play, stick lift him. Do something, but don't just stand there and let that shot get away. And that is the biggest problem we face in the Avalanche game is no defensive help at all. And now McNabb scores right away off the power play strike from the Anaheim Ducks. That one comes shorthanded as the second half of Pacioretty's two penalties uh, uh, gets underway, I guess. I don't have a proper way of wording that. <laughs> But McNabb scores shorthanded. How about that? A great quick answer to getting scored on. I gotta be stout the rest of this game now. We just we gotta shut this penalty kill, this uh, power play down. Get this penalty kill over with. Here come the Ducks. Silverberg with a shot from outside. They take care of business there. Overcommitted, but got the pad to it. So making the saves. And not making saves on Comtois. And they score on the other part of the power. Just no D in front at all. Not even looking at the replay. It's not worth it. I just, I, we're going to need a different slider set. Or we're going to need to be sent down. I cannot do this. I cannot do this again. I just cannot keep doing this. So the Ducks scored on both the power plays they had there. Back door off the post. Off the metal. Stone. Back for, oh, off the post. How long before we get pulled in this game? Off the glass and up. Oh, okay, Dougie. Is that stall? What stall is that? Is that Jordan stall? Oh, back door. Just go ahead and end the game. I mean, it's just, I'm getting torn up out here. Just demote me to the AHL already. Okay, so... After the second Comtois goal, we're changing the camera angle. This is probably not even going to help, but let's just see. Coming here. Oh, I got a piece of it. Wow. Lucky to get a piece of that. There's a save. All right, we're playing a little bit better now. Top. Oh, that was blocked by Shattenkirk. I wasn't sure what had happened with it. Turned aside. Good stuff. Kiss. That shot's wide, and that's the end of the period. So we rallied a little bit once we changed the camera, but maybe a little too little too late. Hopefully we see a little more action in the second. So here we go in the second period in front of the home fans. Gusev shooting. Oh, cover it. Oh, I don't know where it is. Okay, no, now I do. 
<laughs> right there, yeah. Oh, man. Plav cross ice. The silver burger gets laid out. Wow, what a hit. Oh, and Stahl gets wrecked. But Silverberg shooting wide. That's a shot and a save. Attacking save. We'll play it for Theodore. It is Eric Stahl, and he gets laid out. Wow. Just retire, okay? <laughs> Just retire. Always going off. It, he's injured. He's going down this he's going down the tunnel. Gusev now Raquel will play it down. And we oh, we can't play the puck there. We just missed it. Oh! <laughs> I didn't want it back, and we're gonna ice it. Okay, fair enough. We've had our chance to shoot it on Gibson, and I took it. I didn't really know what to do with it because I panicked. Because it just ended up right to me. Gusev. Passes across a big standing glove save. Tie up. Back door to the... Oh, and we almost hit that play with Stone. Feeds Comtois. Who pulls up. Passes. Jones. And he shoots it wide. He had every opportunity to put that on the net. And I don't know how he missed. Stone. Petrangelo. Saved. And it's in. It's going to be waved off. As it looks like Marcia so put it in with a high stick. But I don't know. Let's take a look. Oh, I think this is legal. It's close. From that angle, it's hard to tell. But he did baseball style that one in. You see it there. Hey, batter, batter. Maybe Marcia so should just be a baseball player. He made great contact. But is it legal? The referee deems it illegal. It is not a good goal. So it will not stand, and you can see Marcia So's frustration there. Sean Kirk bringing it in and shooting wide into the corner with it. Gusev, he's probably going to do that walk out in front thing. And it, oh, thank you, Dougie Hamilton, you legend. I made the attacking save, and he picked up the rebound. That's our, that's our signal to play. Oh, uh, oh, oh, <laughs> please. Trevor Zegers, maybe he's going to try a lacrosse move and a save. And Stone drops for Hamilton. Backdoor beautifully. Oh my goodness. William Carlson, what a finish. And the vision by Dougie Hamilton to see that play all the way. And Wild Bill gets his first of the season. Look at that. He just goes right to the back door. Hamilton, head up, eyes up, looking for that. Look at that. They just get right in behind the defense. They had no idea he was even there. And now we are tied 3-3 three to three late in the second period. We could have a spicy third period coming up here. Now it's Raquel, a weird deke at the blue line that causes them to go offside. Good job, genius. Step up there, Dougie. Take that, take that shot lane away. Take it away. Oh, attacking save on Silverberg. We make it. This Ducks attack is pretty good. Just got to be ready for anything. Off the blocker, I assume. A shot, and Pacioretty scores. Max Pacioretty. He puts the Golden Knights on top late in the second period. Huge goal. He just turned, stopped, and shot it right back at Gibson. I don't know whether this going or the blocker. It sure did, it looks like. EA's replays are not the greatest in the world, so bear with us. Just five seconds left to hold out for this second period. And a big second period from us as a team and us as a goaltender. As Max Pacioretty's late goal in the period has now given us a 4-3 lead that we are going to now be pressured to hold on to for the third period of play. And now he breaks it in, and he's gonna shoot, deflect it off the defenseman, good job. Marshes on windmill, to the middle, stays with it. Wow, actually got a good chance. Trangelo down low to Smith, and that pass is going to go, oh boy, all the way back in our end. We can't even play the puck because we are that poor at doing it. Oh, between the legs, trying to show off Trevor Zegers, that shot, and it's absorbed right into the chest protector good save oh my goodness look at trevor zegers but you know theodore is going to have none of that shea theodore just to get to the outside trying to get in and we're just going to cover the other way he's in he's past the defense passes and i come off the angle and 
just that's yeah nope that should have never I should have never done that Derek Grant just is easy this a slam dunk it is not clutch time I am sorry to report good pass to Milano saved Milano he breaks in move past ooh, ooh, what do we do oh it's right in front of us oh oh god can you guys please clean it up in front? Freaking out here. I made a, a, an excellent attacking save. Maybe got really lucky, but either way. Oh, clean it up. That pass is interrupted. Come on, give me some help. Zegris. Oh, whoa! Oh, what a recovery. I was way off position on that, and I was able to push back across in time to make the big glove save. Shankirk laying out patch ready at center ice. Okay. Three minutes and eight seconds remaining in regulation. Could this go to overtime? And we see our first overtime game almost not because of Riley Smith's shot there that was barely handled by Gibson. McNabb winds one up that's saved by Gibson. Face this attack. Oh, he shoots back against the grain and just missed. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, we're going to lunge after it and we'll take the whistle. That's fine with me. We're out. Oh, Hell. Back. Oh no. Zegris scores as I was anticipating. And that's a ball buster of a goal. That's. That should have never gone in. Guys, please go get one. Please. We're not even looking at it. What's the save percentage now? What is the save percentage? Oh god. Here we go. We're gone. We're gone. Empty net. Can we get one with the empty net? Oh no, Anaheim's gonna get it. They're gonna pot the empty netter. No, they just sent it in, rim it around. Get me some redemption here, please. 12 seconds left to redeem ourselves. No, it's not gonna go to overtime. The Ducks are gonna win it in regulation because I screwed up. effort all in all at all ends of the ice we get back to the phones we find john in high river tonight john how are you sir i'm feeling worried another loss and this goaltender i know it's early but he's looking very civ like well it, it has been a little shaky between the pipes and I, I look it's early and this is where i don't want to completely write him off he's going to find his way but i'm with you it's it hasn't been the prettiest to this point. No, no, not at all. The guy doesn't seem to be cutting down angles at all. Yeah, I mean, let's let's give him some time to play things out, but I would say he's on watch and it's he's on notice. Thanks very much for the call, John. Appreciate it. Well, not an ideal performance against Anaheim. We saw 25 shots and we let five pass us, including that late one that cost us the game. And... I, we're either going to need to do a new slider set or we're going to need to just get demoted. I don't really care at this point what it takes, but I mean, if it means having fun and playing in the AHL, AHL to kind of make a progression, so be it. But I may tweak sliders for this because this is just not happening. By the way, this is on default slider. So this is as the game was downloaded as it came. I haven't really downloaded any updates other than just how the game came in the store. So if it came with the update... I haven't really installed anything, so this is as the game is, default, so we may play around with some stuff, but it just, it ain't happening right now. It is not happening. Well, you failed to win a game like you said you would, blah, 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 whatever, man. I really don't care. There are worse things happening in the world. Oh boy, a conversation with the coach special conversation with the Hockey Hall of Famer coming up a little later on. Meantime, hey look, locally they have been hemorrhaging way too many goals as of late and the youngster has kind of been uh, subject to a lot of criticism right here on this show as well. We've seen a lot of text, a lot of stuff on social media as well and on the phone lines and the coaching staff clearly sees the same thing that a lot of you are seeing as well. They pulled the youngster aside and sent a direct message I think uh, prior to the skate to say hey look You've got a max of two we goals are you kidding me you and the idea of this goals against average where it's kind of floating around it's a little too bloated for our liking and we'd like to slim that down 
All right, so that's going to do it for this episode here. We're just going to cut it right here. Maybe we tweak sliders before the next one, but uh, yeah, it's not going really good right now. So we'll see you in the next episode.